the dust is far from cleared in this event. We are only seven matches in of our 66 to play over the next couple of days. Over on the Red Alliance, all three teams successfully make it out of their community to start the match. After a successful engagement in the autonomous period, courtesy of 3176, they have an advantage of 2618 as we enter the driver operated period. Take a look at 9208 Eddie's circuit, grabbing a cone from their human player station, moving over to attempt to score in their alliance's grid. 3176 responding in kind in a similar action, trying to get around their alliance partners 10, 1018. Traffic is proving to be an early difficulty for both alliances in this match. 3176 will attempt to score and successfully score on a high node for their alliance. 5402 Reckless Robotics with an impressive fuller pickup system, grabs a cone, will score it in, in kind to potentially create a link for their alliance, which will get them that much closer to a ranking point. Unfortunately, we do have a tips from Slicer Tech in the middle of the field. 1018, the Pike Robo Devils successfully maneuvering over the charge station, gets a little air time and ends up colliding with Purple Precision, their partners. Thankfully, both robots are all right and still moving. Take a look over here, Penn Robotics with an interesting LED design, speeding across the field, grabbing a Cuban fin field to score for their Alliance. 34 seconds left to play, 89-20 Blue Alliance. That will be the start of our end game period. Look over on the blue side, Reckless Robotics is already docked and engaged. Pike Robo Devils will join them shortly, ideally. On the Red Alliance, 9208 Eddie's Circuit and 135 Penn Robotics attempting to do the same to even the differential as we get seven, six, five seconds away from the closing of this match. Three, two, one. That will do it, an exciting early season match. Let's see how it scored. Let's take a look at our scores. Let's take a look at our scores. It's the Blue Alliance. Unfortunately, 3176 was assessed a red card due to a violation of G207. The Blue Alliance still wins the match.